You can turn in your King James Bible to Acts chapter 17 and verse 29. I want to tell you right now, this Catholic Trinity thing is a graven image. I'm going to show you here the proof of that. Acts chapter 17, verse 29. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone, graven by art and man's device. Uh, the Godhead, the true biblical Godhead, falsely called the Trinity, you know, I, I've used the term Trinity. You know, you can make a big issue about it or just, you know, whatever. It's the point is, it's it's three in one. Okay, that's the whole point here. The Godhead is the, the word in your King James Bible. That's the correct word. Trinity is a Catholic word. But here's the whole point. When you try to explain this Trinity, this Catholic Trinity thing, uh, and you use art to depict things, you will always come up with a false god or gods, uh, the three gods of Catholicism or some of the independent Baptist church, apparently. Um, you have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, and there's not one verse of Scripture that says that. You know, it's kind of interesting. But um, let me show you the thing about a graven image here. You go back to Exodus chapter 20. New Testament there, Acts chapter 17, verse 29, you know, forbids the graven image of making a graven image of the Godhead. Okay, now people will say, well, you know, are you against the thing of uh, drawing Jesus or whatever in a painting or things like this, or whatever, that's a graven image. Well, first of all, you're not worshiping it. Secondly, you're not showing this Godhead. All right, we'll talk more about that in another video. It's not Jesus there that's it's saying don't you know write or make any pictures or whatever draw any pictures of what you thought jesus looked like or to illustrate some kind of thing it's the godhead see that's very important to understand exodus chapter 20 verses 4 through 6 let's read these it says here thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Interesting, making a graven image is tied in with people that hate God. Verse 6, And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Keeping God's commandments proves your love. Well, guess what the Catholics do? The Catholics actually take away commandment number two uh, let's see i think i let's see if i can find it here quick i have here a new american bible catholic edition right there you can see it i know it's in here uh, they actually have the ten commandments and what they do is they break the tenth commandment into two but uh, the Catholics, being pagans, um, they like to, to change God's words. They don't like this second commandment. Okay? Here we have it. The Ten Commandments of the Roman Catholic whore. Okay? You see it there? See, they skip it. And they go down here. And they have two that you're not to covet. They take out the command to not have graven images. Why would that be? Well, <laughs> because they have graven images. It's their whole system. They have idols. You know, they took the ancient Roman pagan gods and, and even Babylonian gods and things, and they, they put that into their system. They call them saints now. All right. So, but you say, well, you know, it, we're independent Baptist, or we're, we're this, or we're that. We don't do that. Okay, do you agree or disagree with the Catholic depiction of there being a Father God, a Son Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, the little dove that flies above them? Is that accurate or not? Is that what it looks like? Maybe not that exact detail, but is that basically the, the basics of what the Godhead looks like? Father, Son, Holy Ghost? You know? Is that what it looks like? I mean, answer it, you out there that defend this Catholic Trinity. Is it an accurate depiction of what you believe? You have a graven image.
you're condemned by scripture. I just find that interesting. But there's something a little bit more of a tie in here. You see, uh, I saw recently that uh, Anders Snake came out with this thing and he said that, that the, you know, the, the Antichrist is going to get rid of the Trinity. He's going to get rid of the Trinity. Oh, why on earth would he do that? The Antichrist is a Trinity. Go back to Revelation chapter 16. I did a whole study on this. Revelation chapter 16. Uh, verse 13, And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. There's going to be three of them ruling. Hmm. And yet you go to uh, a Catholic cathedral, there's one in, uh, I think it's Budapest, and it has the statue out front of the Father, the Son, and the little bird up above. Hmm. I find that interesting. I find something else interesting. Do a little Google search sometime. Just go Google images and type in Trinity. I'll show you screenshots. There you go. How about type in, now add the word witchcraft, witchcraft Trinity. Ah, again, the three-pointed star, the Trichetra. Hmm. How about that? How about Catholic Trinity? And again, and you will hear these guys, and they'll say this thing. They'll say, you know, well, the, the Bible teaches that, you know, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, but the Father is not the Son. You know, the, the, the Son is not the Holy Ghost. That, that They do this thing. This is some kind of a special little thing there and, and whatever else. Let's see if I can find it here in this catechism. Yeah, right there. I've showed this in another study. There you go. That's the Catholic Trinity. And yet I've heard Robert Breaker say it. I've heard Stephen Anderson say it in those exact words. And they even draw it the same. Hmm. You see, trying to depict the Godhead, the Godhead is a, is a mystery. We can't understand the Godhead. You can just believe what the Bible says. All right? But when you try to depict the Godhead, you actually come up with a false god. And the important part about that is Revelation chapter 20, verse 4 in your King James Bible. And this is, this is the real big deal here. The real thing that's going on. See, the New World Order religion is not going to be all religions getting along. They never have. They never will. No, it's going to be one religion and that is going to be Roman Catholicism. Mystery Babylon. That's what it's going to be. Revelation chapter 20, verse 4. And I mean, you know, that's just, anybody could agree with that. That there would have to be, if you have a world government, you could not have all people getting along. There would have to be, for totalitarian government to exist, you need to have a totalitarian religious system. Because you have different religions, people have different beliefs, they're going to die for their beliefs and whatever else. I mean, think it out. There can only be one religion. And that religion is going to be Catholicism. Revelation chapter 20, verse 4, And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus, and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. What's going to be the mark upon the forehead? I do believe Revelation 13 teaches it's in the right hand or in the forehead. I think it will be an implantable microchip of some variation, whatever that'll be. But we'll, what will be this visible mark upon the forehead? I believe it's going to be a trichetra, the three-pointed star, representing the uh, Catholic Trinity and the witchcraft Trinity. I mean, you can, you can look it up, too. There's Baptist churches, Trinity Baptist Church, Trinity Baptist College. And thing. They got the same thing. And a sister, a friend of the ministry, lives here uh, not too far from us. Um, she sent me a picture. She was on her way to work, and she went past this Catholic church. <laughs> and um, I'll show the picture here. It's pretty, pretty weird. This big window on top of the thing at the entryway where you go in there. Again, you see the three thing, the triangles, interlocking triangles. Really, really bizarre stuff. Hmm. Weird. You see, you can't escape it. If you believe that the 
Trinity, as the people call it, as the Catholics call it, if you believe that it is Father, Son, Holy Ghost as three different bodies and yet one in divine essence, uh, that doesn't work. I mean, again, show me divine essence in the, in the King James Bible. Show me where it says that. It doesn't. Right? They are three in one body. Body. Soul. Spirit. That's why the Lord said, let's create, let's make man in our image. Are there three of me standing here? No. Are there three of you? No. But you do have a body, a soul, and a spirit. You know? And part of the mystery of how the Lord does things, the body, soul, and spirit can separate with the Godhead. That's why Jesus Christ can pray to God the Father. Bodies on the earth, souls in heaven. So explain it. I can't. I can't. The mystery of godliness is great. We're going to talk about that in the next video. So just you need to be real careful because when you get into this Catholic Trinity thing, you are getting into a graven image, one that the Lord hates and despises. It's a false god or gods, the false gods of Catholicism. Don't fall for it.